let's talk about our guy, the block nest monster, Mitchell Robinson, man. Our guy, Ian Begley. Shout out to Ian Begley of SNY. Had some interesting tidbits on Mitch. And mm. uh, first and foremost, one thing that was interesting was that he mentioned that Mitch, Mitch's name was mentioned in the Drew Holiday trade to the Blazers. Mm. That was interesting. Mitch's name came Wait. up in the Knicks' pursuit of Drew Holiday from the Blazers. Very, very interesting. Even though I have a hard time seeing the Blazers trying to bring in Mitch when they had already acquired DeAndre Ayton. So, not so sure how that would have worked out. But nevertheless, that was interesting. And then now, here was Tibbs' comments on Mitch after the Knicks preseason game against the Timberwolves. He says, the things he brings up to our team, oftentimes you're not going to see in the box score. He has great value in rim protection, top five in the league, offensive rebounding, top five in the league, total rebounding, top five in the league, terrific in the pick and roll defender, great pressure on the rim, getting out of screens, and he's loving it. He, he pointed to Mitch's net rating improvement over the years. He said four years ago, it was, net, it was a negative net rating. Last year, it's a net rating over five. That's a 10-point improvement for 48 minutes. Tibbs dropping stats on you. That's significant. So there you go. Quentin Grimes calling Mitch the most important guy on the team. What do you think, man? Is Mitch the MVP? <laughs> I want to go MVP, but he is one of the most important guys on this team, which is mm -hmm. why it's, it's funny when... Fans are like, yo, we need we need an offensive center and stuff like that. I'm like, who are we putting next to Julius that's going to be offensive and defensive driven? Because, look, you got Jalen Brunson, R.J. Barrett, Julius Randle in that starting rotation. None of those guys are the greatest defenders. If anything, maybe they're average, but we went through Julius, not a great defender. Brunson, he can be exposed just because of his, of his size, right, of his height. Um, and then you have R.J., who... He can wane at times where he's just not a good defender. So when you have guys like Quentin Grimes in that starting rotation and Mitchell Robinson, guys that can lock it down on defense, that's where they pull their weight. And for Mitch to be a solid offensive rebounder, a guy who can just clean up offensive glass. Look, I was reading off stats uh, against uh, after the Boston Celtics game for like assists, man. Do you know when I saw that lob from Jalen Brunson to Mitchell Robinson, I was like, I never I don't remember seeing anything like that yeah. last season. Do you know how many assists Jalen Brunson had to Mitchell Robinson last year throughout the entire NBA season? 10? 24. 24. 24. 24. Most was R.J. Barrett with 27. Mm. But that, and, and keep that in mind, right? So if the most is 27 from R.J. Barrett, think about how Mitch is getting all of his points. Cleaning Clean up. up the glass. Clean up. Clean okay? Up. Because when there's a brick, Mitch is right there to get it and put it right back through the, yeah. through the cylinder. So that's how important Mitchell Robinson is. Offensively, he, he doesn't have those moves. But guess what? Top two offensive rebounder in the league, Steven Adams currently holds uh, the yeah. number one spot. But to be up there and to offer the, the switchability on defense, guarding the pick and roll, look, man, you just saw him block Carl Anthony Towns in that preseason yeah. game. What an effort. Look, and... and, and the thing about Mitch, man, in this season, I don't know if you've noticed it, but it looks like he's moving a little bit more fluid, man. Like yeah. even with the muscle that he has on it, he's still moving at quite some speed for a guy hit for his height. So I, I think I, I I think Grimes is right when we talk about Mitch being one of the most key factors to what this team does, mm -hmm. right? And that's where I know we're going to talk about Cat later. That's why when people bring up Carl Anthony Towns, just keep that guy away from this team because yeah. defensively. This team won't be able to keep up. This team will just it will suffer, man. Offensively, yeah. like you need to have defense in the NBA. Like we just we see that. You watch the, how the Nick Nuggets win, even though Jokic isn't a great defender, they still had good defense. You want to talk about how Miami got to the finals? Defense. Celtics, their whole thing last season was defense. All those teams that are in the playoffs can play some level of defense, and Mitch adds to that value. So he is important, man. And from what I'm seeing this postseason, I mean preseason. It's just even more encouraging to see how he's just being more efficient yeah. in what he does. No question. 98th percentile last year in offensive rebounding percentage. 93rd in block percentage. 87th in steal percentage. He's all over the court. 
He's all over the court. Like, you know, you think about MVP, obviously a lot of times we, th- we think about the player that scores the most and it's the most high profile player. And yeah, a lot of times, yeah, you're going to have to score points to get buckets. You, you got to put it in the hands of your bucket getters to get you a dub in crunch time. Somebody who you can dump it down to and they'll deliver. And so that's Brunson for this team. But in terms of this team's weaknesses, he does so much to cover that up. He does so much to cover that up. Rim protection. Just pick and roll defense. Being able to be that last line of defense when things break down at the point of attack. And unfortunately for the Knicks, it it happens a lot. And so he's got to be there covering for a lot of guys. And then on the other side, his ability to offensive rebound is critical for this team. Because if you're not going to shoot the ball efficiently, you got to get second chance opportunities. That's the only way you're going to score points and be able to keep up, especially at the NBA level. So his ability to... Get it off the glass, put it back up and get his own points. Or, as Tibbs likes to point out, the best way to get three-pointers, to get your open threes, is off of offensive rebounds. When you're catching a defense off balance, you kick it out for your open three-point shooters. I'd like to see that stat in terms of, um, in, in terms of you know, three-pointers off of offensive rebounds. I'd like to see where the Knicks rank in, in that department. See if we could... Uh, if we can find that stat three pointers off of mm. offensive rebounds i like to see how they stack up against the rest of i'm terrified i'm terrified to go find that stat <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'd like to see how they stack up against the rest of the league and and how that you know the top 10 top 5 look so yeah no no question man on both ends mitch mitch is super important well, I want man, to see even this ESPN. team's defense improve. Yeah, he's top 100. He's he's 100. He's number 100. Yeah, and look, we have six Knicks in that ESPN ranking. Uh, I'm a little upset that they put Jared Allen above him because guess who worked Jared Allen in the Work. playoffs? So I don't, I don't know how he could do that. It's not just yeah. Jared Allen, it's Evan Mobley as well. The 100, I'm like, thank you for putting him in the top 100, but he deserves to be higher than 100, yeah. especially Absolutely. over Jared Allen. But look, let it be known, like, he took down the – the, the feared twin towers in the playoffs, right? Let's for, let's not forget game five where he went, I think was it 18 points, 17 boards or, or flip that around, something like that. That's come on, man. Yeah. Just give, give, give the guy his respect. Give this guy, stop with the miles Turner talk. Right. Stop with the Carl Anthony towns talk. Respect the guy who's been here through the, who been the dark times. Yeah. All right. And is now under Tibbs become even better at what he's supposed to do. Come on. Simple. Sim- simple and play, man. And look, offensively, he wants to get involved. Team wants to get him involved. We, we know sure. his frustrations there. So as you pointed out with, with Brunson's meager uh, assist numbers to Mitch, you want to see that improve. Hopefully they can improve their connection and, and get him involved. And then when he gets the rock, obviously knocking down those free throws if he gets to the line. But mm-hmm. That's gonna be ov- big. overall between, especially in the playoffs, Certain parts last year, mostly the, the the first, I would say, three quarters of the season and into now, it's just a more confident Mitch. It's just a more confident Mitch who's – you see him more and more at each year. He's been on this team five years, bro. Five years more. I, or this, is this is year six for Mitch. This is year six. This is year one, six he's yeah. one for RJ. So each year you're seeing him. Yes, he's still raw in certain respects. But you're seeing a guy that that's imposing his will more and more each year. Six years. He's the longest tenure. The elder statesman on the team. Put some respect on his name. Holy cow. The elder statesman, man. Six years, man. To even six to think about a player being here for six years post mellow. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. Insane. It, it is Absolutely insane, man. Insane.